Hey, we wanted to show a photo of Joshua Case, the winner of our Deveron Tome. Also, please check him out at Tipple and Text at WordPress.com. See you guys. Enjoy the show. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got us Teelings Whiskey Irish Single Malt. Dare to be different. Let's test it. Test it! First of all, what is this? This is Irish? Irish whiskey. Woo! The spirit of Dublin. Tealing whiskey. Does that mean it's triple distilled? Single malt. Oh, it doesn't say it on you it. Had to, it is non-chill filter. Uh, it is, but it doesn't say on there um, triple distilled. I come to expect that. That's what I'm used to, but this one's mm -hmm. a little bit different, so I don't know. It doesn't say on there I was reading. No, it does say. You must have saw <laughs> it. The Tealing whiskey dare to be different. I did see the dare to be different. That's What's going on came, here, baby? Is that where that came from? Am I different? You're different, all right. I'm different. Your mama's so fat. <laughs> and the hat. So I'm embodying the tealing spirit with what I'm wearing. I got the hat. It's bobbing around. It's like a, I think of this as a ghost from, from Pac-Man. It's one of the ghosts. It's one of the ghosts. Now, you actually knew, uh, I mean, the bottle doesn't overmarket this, which is what I like. They talk about being different, but one thing it has been is it's spent a bunch of time in some different casks. I do like, I like the tin that it comes in. I think I like the, the marketing on, or just the presentation of it. The bottle, a dark color, real, just simple, oh, simple so elegant. Talking, see, I'm talking about how I was really surprised how they, they actually put it in like a, you told me this, and I know you got your notes up, but I can't remember. It was like in a Cabernet cast. Don't even try it. Just don't even try it. You know you're going to mess it up. Yeah, I can't even remember what you told me. It's been like three different casks. Five. Five. I couldn't remember two. Yep. <laughs> One's an ex-bourbon. No. Dang, I didn't even get the basic one. Shoot, that would have been standard. That was easy. So now, read it off, brother. Read it off. The Teeling Single Malt consists of aged malt whiskey up to 23 years of age. Wow. Aged in five different wine casks. Hmm. Sherry. Boom. Should have got that one. Port. Port's easy. Madeira. That one I just like to hear you say. White Burgundy. White Burgundy sounds fancy and rich. And Cabernet Sauvignon. Sauvignon. When you say that, I feel like we're in Paris. Like we're right there, and you're there, and it's in five of those. Yes. All right, so they are daring to be different, as am I. Mm -hmm. um, I want to taste it. Now, this I is, already have tasted it. I've got notes on it, but I want to taste it again because I tasted this about a month ago. And you, my friend, I've told me in your March. notes. Yeah, it's been sitting over here for a while. Yeah. It was just kind of hiding out. And then there was one night I thought, you know what, I want to try me some Irish whiskey. Yep. And I pulled it down. And I got to tell you, I was pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly? Very pleasantly surprised. Good. Um, you're right on the dark bottle. I wasn't sure what I was getting into. You know, they're proclaiming single malt real loud. But, uh, mm. a mm. more A more pale color to me for whiskeys that are up to 23 years of age, um, which would indicate no color in Adam. I don't know if Irish whiskey, do Irish whiskeys add color? I think they could. I don't know. Now when I've got I don't my notes, think they did. When I first popped the cork, the sherry come right out at me. Mm. Um, not so much now. It's more floral, more fruity than than just sherry. Is what I guess is what I'm saying there. See way down um, deep, I get now. First of all, it's got a light nose. I can really bring it in, but I gotta really inhale this deeply. And when I, right at the depth of that inhalation, I get a vanilla bean ice cream. Hmm. Vanilla bean. I get a malt and a lemon grassiness. Yeah, I get that on the forefront. The malt's right there, the lemon grass. Apple Jolly Rancher. Ooh. Huh. Vanilla. Yep, I got sweet vanilla. A honey sweetness and tropical fruits. Wow. I do not get the tropical fruits. Hmm. Did we say, um, I think we said 46% ABV on this? But now you have. Mmm. Mmm. 
Mm. Wow, it's still there. I had it in my notes. I was curious if it was still present. Buttered kettle corn. Mm -hmm. I get a heavy Buttery. butter, like a stick of butter. I get a heavy butter. That sweet sugared kettle corn moves into like a grain, like the like I can almost get like a grain spirit flavor and a real smooth aftertaste that actually carries out that lingering buttery, buttery toffee. Almost like a butter you might get when you're you're enjoying that that corn on the cob. That mm. Buttered, heavy buttered flavor is what I get. Very smooth, very light. Mm. Um, I've got for meat at 46%, it's very full. There's a slight bit of the tropical fruits that are coming out, kind of the mango, a um, little bit of the oak, the maltiness, a honey sweetness. And what's present in a lot of the Irish sherry cask scot or whiskeys, almost said scotches. Mm is that kind of that floral rose petal, uh, hibiscus type, just slightly, very well. Now, the, just to reference Bushmill 16, it's really strong in and I don't care for it. This has a slight hint of that. Very well done, much more pleasant on my palate. I just got a bit of your mango tropical fruit. Mm -hmm. Just got it, and you're right. It's like a, a real fresh tropical fruit that's just been cut. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow. Juice is running down your chin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did not You're have slurping that. Slurping it up. Boom, slurping it. Being different. <laughs> I didn't have that in my original notes. So, but yeah. Mm. It's wrapped in there right around that grain flavor. I can feel that that grain flavor like dip and dive and give me that, that tropical mango fruit. Now, my wife loves mangoes. She would not get mango fruit out of this, yeah. I think. But it mm -hmm. is tucked in there. Uh -huh. Now... I don't get, per se, any individual sherry notes. Mm -mm. Um, maybe a little bit of the port, but just a slight hint of the, the, the sweet light berries or the blueberries. Um, Madeira wine and the, um, what was the... You're killing me now. I got mango all over this thing. <laughs> I can't lose white, the mango. White now. burgundy wine and the Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah. I think that's more more present than the sherry is. I don't yeah. get any of those dark fruits that's associated with sherry. Get a little bit of an astringent at the end, like a dry white wine. Mm -hmm. it, it gives me that dry feeling on the inside, on the edges of my cheeks. That is something. That is something. I hesitated to put a drop of water in here. Because I think neat, this is beautiful, delicate, and delicious. Hmm. Now with the water. All right, a drop of water. I don't get as much as the of the kettle corn sweetness, which which I really like. But that mango, that buttered mango is still staying in there. Buttered mango. I never thought I'd say those two together. I never even thought of buttered mango, but that's what I'm getting. You know, I the, like it. Uh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say the maltiness and the, the grassiness of it really is coming out. And the uh, lemongrass with Here, water. Here's what's odd for me. This isn't a whiskey that's normally in my wheelhouse. You know, I like an earthy, meaty, smoky, peaty whiskey. To me, this is a whiskey I would want to go to in a July, in a June, in an August. It's mm. hot out. That mango is giving me a freshness. That citrus, that lemongrass is light, feathery. The buttered corn. In that reference, this is not a, a June or a, a January blizzard where I'm wrapped in a blanket. This is I'm on the shorts on the beach. Okay. And in that note, 90. I'm not sure. I had 89 over here, but I think it's popping into a 90, but it's out of my wheelhouse. Hard to believe with all this on. 
90, very good. It's pushed that threshold into the good. Oh. Um, probably add some more sherry notes in it, like 91, 92. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's an Irish whiskey. It's really smooth. It's really light. But light but full at the same and time. And different from most Irish whiskeys I've had in terms of giving me that real fruit. Like you said, when you said tropical fruit, I had none of that in my note. Hmm. Then you said mango, and I was like, get out of here, man. I ain't no <laughs> mango in there. I got kettle corn with butter. And then when I went back in, the, the mango is like in that middle profile. I get that buttered um, kettle corn on the forefront. And then as it drifts away, that's where it moves into that, that mango, which is... Again, I dig transitions. High score due to the transitions that are going on here. And you're right, it kind of lingers with the maltiness in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Even now, I get some of that cereal malt that's hanging around. Kettle corn sweetness is gone. Butter, eh, feels like there's still a little bit there. Mango has drifted away, but that cereal maltiness is there. Their catchphrase, teeling, dare to be different. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's different. What? 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 You're laughing at the hat? No. I'll shut uh, up. Go ahead. Is it worth it? Yeah. Well, hold on. What did you pay for? <laughs> I got crazy there. I was going to say, yeah. And then you're like, 350 I'd be like, guess, oh, hold on. Guess price range. All right. I'm uh, guessing just real quick. Uh, just real quick, $61. Yeah. I think it's 55 to 60 range. Yes. Yeah. All right. Again, I wouldn't have this as we move into the colder months. This is a perfect summer whiskey summer summer whiskey and i could sip this on the beach and dig it where i don't want a peat on the beach i want a tealing on the beach <laughs> that almost sounds dirty somehow you don't even smell. go to the beach i love the beach dude you're afraid of sharks no no I, i'll punch a shark right in the nose <laughs> just punch it i love snorkeling snorkeling's great all right well uh follow us on twitter boom Order a Scotch Test Dummy Glen Cairn. Help support us. Bam, we're in our second round. This is a round like 2.0 where we get, a, we get a set of 100 glasses. This one just has our logo. It doesn't have our dummies on the back side. Uh, but you can get those for $20 plus uh, the shipping. And uh, binge watch us. Hello, subscribe and binge watch. When you do binge watch, comment. I love seeing the comments from like 2015, 2014. Yeah, I'm like, wow, that's an old. You got, you really were going back and watching. Some love movies. it. Yeah, and then I watch them and I do cringe a little bit. I'm like, yeah. ooh, wow, we were a little rough there. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're not. We don't have this the test it uh, catchphrase yet. Yeah. We're not yelling scotch at you scotch guys. We're kind of like, uh, see you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it just trails off. But you know what? We're gonna scotch it, you scotch guys. Salancha. Dummies. dummies. And check out scotchtestdummies.com for more information on our next live stream. Ooh. Do it. Now. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got the spirit of Dublin Teeling Irish Whiskey Single Malt. Teeling. Dare to be different. Let's test it. Test it!